you, thank you. Um, I will always remember the day back in the summer of 2009. I was on vacation down the shore with my family and friends, my two little kids, and I came back from the beach and I needed something to do while my two-year-old son was not taking a nap. And so I took my laptop and, and I took it over by the window and I, I opened it up and I tried once again for maybe the tenth time since I'd been down there to connect to the one weak open Wi-Fi channel that was available in all of Long Beach Island at this house we were staying. And I connected for a moment. I got really excited. Just long enough I connected to download my email. So I couldn't do anything else, but at least I had a couple emails to read. And one caught my eye immediately, and it was an email notification from Facebook. And it said, your mom has accepted your friend request. <laughs> and a shiver ran down my spine <laughs> because I love my mom. She's the greatest mom in the whole world. But I absolutely did not send her a friend request on <laughs> Facebook. As far as I knew, she wasn't even on Facebook. She was just uh, playing a free sell or whatever on the computer. I didn't know she knew what Facebook was. But she had accepted my friend request. And here I was down the shore with no internet access for four or five days. And she had full access to my online history without the opportunity to review anything I had posted or delete anything. And my mind started turning, and I, I started panicking. And, and not that I had anything to hide, really, but you just feel a little bit violated. I, I felt like I was the Monica Lewinsky like realizing that all my conversations had been taped all of a sudden, and that uh, all of a sudden my mom was going to see that some of my friends cursed from time to time, and she was going to see that my brother really is really liberal, and she didn't know that before. And, and then I, I got angry because I, I couldn't figure out how she had gotten a friend request to begin with. And so, and my mom, uh, like Jessica's mom, is very internet savvy and computer savvy. And she's always asking me, like she knows how many megs of RAM she has, whatever that means. And whenever there's a new computer, she's like, well, how many megs of RAM does it have? So I'm like, well, she knows megs of RAM. Maybe she could hack into Facebook and <laughs> generate her own friend request. So I have to suffer with this knowledge the rest of my vacation. And I get home. And, and like I said, I love my mom. So I, I very casually have to say, hey, hey, I see that we're friends on Facebook. Like, how did that happen? And she said, I found out. I had been sending her, you know how they have that link, send this, these pictures to someone who's not on Facebook of the grandchildren. And at some point, that generated its own I wish Facebook had told me that, its own friend request to my mom. <laughs> and she, she accepted one day. So it actually turned out to be a very good thing. And it went really well for several months. And um, we, we chatted. We chatted on Facebook. We started video chatting. Um, she would write on my wall, like, um, how are you? <laughs> you know, and, and um, see you later and stuff. And, uh, and one day I was like, mom, why are you writing like that? And she very sincerely said, like, oh, I, I thought that was cool. You know, I thought that was how you did it. So we got her up to speed on that, and it was going really well until we all went down to Florida to visit. They live pretty close to Disney. And this was also the same year as my 20th high school reunion. So I was hypersensitive about any pictures of me that might end up on Facebook, because I'm, I'm, I'm still holding tight to the idea that I look like my profile picture. And I have two months left. <laughs> I have two months left and like three pounds a day times two months. Like I could look like that by the reunion. So <laughs> as long as no one spoils this for me, I'm, I'm in good shape. So we go to Disney and I know she's taking tons of pictures. And I, I, I said several times, like, you know, like, let's not post these on Facebook. You know, we have that the etiquette. And um, great visit. And sure enough, I get home. And, and a couple days later, I look up and there's an album in my news feed called Disney. And, um, and there I am. Um, I'm in an applique Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt with bed head. Uh, I'm sweating in line, you know, waiting for the teacups. But the piece de resistance was uh, a picture of me. I had come home from the pool and never showered. And my hair was curly and frizzy. And my mascara had run. But I didn't. And I, I had to walk the dog. So I had grabbed my dad's like hunting jacket, which made it look like I was naked because I had my bathing suit on. And I had. <laughs> 
I had my dad's um, L.L. Bean duck boots on, which are four sizes too big. And then I was going to just take the dog out. And my mom said, oh, that's hilarious. Let me take that picture. Which then is there. On, and my mom has no privacy settings. So anybody that knew me could, could, could see the pictures. So I immediately, and remember, I'm so worried. Like my, um, This is ruining my image for all my high school friends. So um, I called immediately, and I left a message. Mom, I, please, I asked you. You know I look horrible in these pictures. Can you please take them down immediately? And instead of calling me back, um, she posted on my wall on Facebook. <laughs> and it said, which pictures that I posted do you think you look fat in? <laughs> I think you look great. <laughs> Love, Mom. And um, I, 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 that's really all there is to be said. It, it, <laughs> the cat was out of the bag. I went to the reunion. It's all good now. Um, and she's caught up in Farmville, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs>